Welcome to FICO's Bolodrome in Franklin, Massachusetts. This is the final match in the Pro Series team event. Jim Ayotte's team is going to be taking on Mark Gregory's team in, in this one-string match. Besides Jim Ayotte, the uh, bowlers on his team are Gary Santora, Chris Winniars, John Starner, and Dave Chesterkov. And the leadoff bowler is Gary Santora. Mark Gregory's team consists of Dave Richards, Jeff Walsh, Nick Norcross, Peter Pereira, and of course Mark Gregory is the team captain. So to get things started off, Dave Richards on lane 14 and Gary Santora on lane 13. Dave Richards with a Looks like an eight drop. It looks like a three nine, and and then he just uh, went by it on the second ball. Sure enough, it was a three nine, and uh, Dave Richards will take a nine in the first box. Gary Santora with an eight. Dave Richards is well known to most regulars on. And there is a strike by Dave Richards. Take a look at it on replay. Just really solid one three pocket hit. I started to say that Dave is well known to uh, followers of the Candlepin circuit for uh, a number of reasons. One, one of which being that he is um, the retired titleist on the Channel 5 Candlepin Bowling Show that ran from 1958 until 1996. When the show went off the air he was the defending champion. Gary Santora with a nice bid on that 2-4-6-10, but not quite able to get the 10 to go. So Gary will take a 10. That will bring up Jeff Walsh and Chris Winniars. Jeff on lane 14, bowling for Mark Gregory's team. The way it works in this Pro Series team event is that the top 12 bowlers in the Pro Series point standings are the team captains and they select their teams um, in a, a rotation, a draft rotation manner so that uh, among the other bowlers that, that, that participate in the event. And that's a spare for Jeff Welsh. That was a very unusual leave. He took the four five, six, and seven out of a full rack, and I'm not sure I've ever seen that leave before, but in any case, Jeff converts it for a spare, and we'll take a look at it in just a moment as Chris Winniard puts a nine on the board. Now look at this first ball. It's over on the four pin, and you see hits it pretty full. Head The uh, seven pin goes to the side wall, and it comes back takes out the five pin and topples it into the six. So that's four, five, six, and seven out of a full rack. That is really, and that might be a first, I'm not sure. In any case, as you'll see on the second ball, Jeff hits the one, two pocket solid and converts the spare. The nine almost stays up, but eventually it goes down. So that's a spare for Jeff Walsh to begin. Wow, good ball by Jeff, but he just uh, hits a little too full on the head pin, and he takes out the one eight nine. Chris Winniars with a nine drop, leaving the five pin. See if Jeff can work his way out of this tough lead. And he punches out the two pin, hits the object pin again, but just punches it straight back. So he's got six pins still on the deck. Meanwhile, Chris Winniars with the spare in the second box. Let's see if Jeff can come up with an out. Yeah, and he does. That's an eight box. So Jeff with 21 after two. And that's going to bring up Nick Norcross on lane 14 bowling for Mark Gregory's team. And John Starner for Jim Ayotte's team. Nick Norcross bowls out of Pilgrim Lanes and also out of Woburn.
where he works. And Nick starts off with a nice ball in the one-two pocket. But just six, leaving the five, six, nine, ten. That's a, uh, he's got a piece of wood, but it's... And there's a strike by John Starner. Let's take a look at the replay. Pretty high one-three pocket hit. Gets, gets the wall shot. Four pin is the last one to go. So that's a great way to get started for John Starner. And Nick Norcross with a nice bid on that lead, but the uh, six pin went right around the 10. So Nick will take a 10 box. Norcross on the other side of the head pin this time and he drops five leaving the two four five seven eight John Starner with a pretty good hit in the one three pocket but um, not much to show for it he's got the five seven and eight and Nick almost converts that spare got it off the wall but didn't quite get the seven John Starner with a nice bid doesn't quite go. So he'll take a nine on that strike in the first frame. So let's see what these guys can both convert the seven pin. Nick uses the wood. And John Starner converts the seven pin directly. Next up, Peter Pereira. And Dave Chesterko. Peter bowls out of Woburn, and Dave Chesterko bowls right here at Pico's. This is a home game for him. Although, if I'm not mistaken, Dave also bowls in the Friday Night Pro League representing Central Park Lanes in East Boston. Peter Pereira just slides by the head pin. Dave Chestercove looking at a single pin, and he just sneaks by it. So both guys are going to be open in the first box. Peter with a 10, and Dave with a 9. Peter Pereira also bowls in the Sunday once a month pro league at Park Place in Wyndham, New Hampshire. And both of these guys are also competitors in the World Invitational Team Tournament. Peter with a half Worcester right. Let's see what he can do with this. Goes to the other side. And Dave Chesterko with a spare in the second. Converting that nine drop. Peter Pereira with a nine in the second box. He's got 19 through two. So they'll turn it over to the team captains, Mark Gregory and Jim Ayotte. Jim is currently leading the Pro Series point standings this season. He's had some excellent results this fall, as has Mark Gregory. And Mark with a I think that's a seven drop leaving the two five eight. <coughs> Jim Ayotte with an eight leaving the six ten with a couple of planks. Do it. 
Mark Gregory with a nice shot there for the spare, carrying through to get the 258, the 8 pin being the tricky one. Jim Ayotte matches him with a spare. Mark with a with an eight bill, leaving the two seven. And there is a strike for Jim Ayotte in the second. Taking another look here. High flush in the one two pocket. And the five nine are the last two to go. So he's off to a flying start. Mark Gregory trying to get that 2-7, and he got to the left side of the 2, which is probably where he tried to go, but just not quite far enough to get the ball to go over and get the 7. So he'll take a 10. Mark Gregory with 28 after 2. So now the teams will switch lanes. Gary Santora comes over to lane 14, and Dave Richards on lane 13. Gary drops 6 leaving the four horsemen right. Nice ball by Dave Richards. With a nine drop. Leaving the five pin. And Gary runs down the four horsemen very cleanly. Have a look at it on replay. Nice one three pocket hit and he uh, just Converts it very nicely. And Dave Richards matches that spare. That gives him a 10 fill on the strike that he had in the second. So he's got 29 through 2 and uh, 39 with a ball through 3. Gary Santora with 28 with a, with a ball through 3. And there is a strike by Gary Santora. Very solid one-two pocket hit. Let's take a take a look at it here. This is just he really stuffs this one in the pocket, and there's just no question about that. Two marks in a row for Gary. And that's going to be a nine drop for Dave Richards. Known as Cookie. to his friends, and he will be going at the 9-pin. And he just tugs it a little bit and goes by the 9, so Dave Richards will be open in the 4th. He'll take a 10. That gives Dave Richards 58 through 4. Chris Winniar is on lane 14 with Jeff Walsh on 13. Chris goes by the head pin and just takes out three, the three, five, nine. And Jeff kind of goes the other way, takes out the two, five, eight, and 10. Chris Winniar is with a nice bid on that spare, but he was very, very light in the one-two pocket and left the 4-7 and also the 10 didn't go. So both guys are going to be open. Chris with an 8 and Jeff Walsh. <coughs> 7 for Jeff Walsh in the 3rd. He's got 28 through 3. Chris Winniar is with 31. Chris Winniar inspires in the fourth frame and hits the head pin but uh, comes up pretty high and leaves a big five lead. Jeff Walsh also on the head pin. He's got seven and he's got six, seven, ten with three pieces of wood that might help him but it's a little bit hard to see how he can get all three of these. See what he can do. Wow. Well, okay, the 10 does go, but you can see what the problem was there. It was pretty tough to get anything to go over to get the 7. And the 10 almost stayed up as well. It'll be a 9 for Chris Winniars. He's got 40 through 4. And Jeff Walsh will 
take a nine. He has 37 through four. John Starner on lane 14. <coughs> nice ball in the one three pocket. He drops eight. Nick Norcross with a with a good ball, but he uh, gets a little bit of a tough break, and he's got seven, leaving the four, five, and seven. John Starner with the spare converts the two five. Nick Norcross not quite able to get the four, five, seven. He tried to kick the seven off the wall. He'll take a 10. Three straight 10 boxes for Nick Norcross. Now let's see what John Starner can put on that spare. Just one, he punches out the three pin by itself. And Nick Norcross with an eight drop and it looked like that seven pin might have slid a little bit but didn't fall. Slid to the right a little bit. John Starner with a great bid on that that one drop. Nick Norcross <clears throat> trying to get the 7-9, but the wood went in front of the 9. So both guys will be open. John Starner with 10 and Nick Norcross with 9. So right at this moment, Jim Ayotte's team is out to a lead of about 25 pins. We'll show you the score in a minute or so. Dave Chestercove with a 6 drop and Pete Pereira with a 5. Peter has a split 2, 4, 7, 8, 10 with some wood in front of the 2 and also in front of the 10. He might be able to make it. And Dave trying to get the 2, 4, 5, 7, but he just tugs it a little bit past the 2 pin. And there's a nice bid by Peter Pereira, but the 10 didn't go. Dave Chesterkove with a 10 box. That gives Dave 35 through 3. Peter also with a 10. He's got 29 through 3. Dave Chesterkov on the head pin once again. But he's got a difficult split. 3, 6, 7, 10 with no wood. Pete Pereira has the infamous Kaliri. 1, 2, 4, 7, 9. Also with no wood. These are a couple of tough spare leaves. Pretty good bid by Dave Chesterkov, but he's just a little bit too full on the three pin, so he didn't didn't get it over into the seven. That'll be a ten for Dave. Meanwhile, Peter Pereira still has four pins to clean up. He's got the four horsemen left. And uh, that'll be an eight box. That will bring Jim Ayotte up on lane 14 and Mark Gregory on lane 13. Jim with a little bit of a wall shot there. He missed the head pin to the left, but got some action there. He's got the uh, one, eight, and ten. Mark Gregory with seven. It's going to be an eight drop. He's got the four and seven with a couple of pieces of wood in front of it. And Jim Ayotte with a nice bid on that one eight ten, but he couldn't get the ten. Mark Gregory makes the spare in the third. Jim Ayotte with a ten box. He has 49 through three. Mark Gregory with 38 with a ball still to roll. 
Jimmy out with a nice ball in the one-two pocket. A lot of sidewall action there, and he's left with a 10-pin and a piece of wood. That's a little bit of a guide. Mark Gregory fills his spare with eight, leaving the six, seven with a piece of wood that in to the left of the six pin that might give him some help. Jim Ayotte takes care of that 10 pin. See if Mark can. Well, no, he uh, he hit the six pin, but he hit it just about dead center and pushed it right back, and nothing touched that piece of wood. So we'll never know whether or not it would have helped to make the spare. He'll take a 10. He's got 56 through 4. So Gary Santora comes back on lane 13 and Dave Richards on 14. Cookie misses the head pin but gets 6. Little sidewall action to get the, the uh, head pin. But he's got 2, 4, 7, 9. Gary working on that strike that he had in the fourth drop six, leaving the one, two, seven, and ten. Now Dave Richards with a nice try there, but that piece of wood in the front prevented him from getting the four, seven. And Gary Santora with a nice shot right there. Let's take a look at it. One, two, seven, ten. He just splits the one, two. Head pin takes out the ten, and the ball goes over to get the seven. Perfect shot right there. That's three marks in a row for Gary, giving him 68 with a ball through the fifth. Ten box for Dave Richard. So we will come to the end of this segment, and we'll take a look at the scoreboard. As you can see, it is a 25-pin lead for... Jim Ayotte's team, 262 to 237 right now. And they also have two marks, uh, those two spares to fill, versus none for Mark Gregory's team. So that's the end of this segment, and we will be back with the rest of this match shortly. <laughs>